بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نریٹڈ عبد اللہ بن عباس ابو سفیان بن حرب انفارم می دیٹ ہیرکلیس ہیڈ سینٹ اے میسنجر ٹو ہیم وائل ہی ہیڈ بین اکمپنگ اے کیروین فرام کورائش دے ور مرچنٹس ڈوئنگ بزنس ان شیم سیریا پلسٹین لیبنن اینڈ جارڈن ایٹ دا ٹائم When Allah's apostle had to raise with Abu Sufyan and Quraysh infidels, so Abu Sufyan and his companions went to Heracles at Ilya, Jerusalem. Heracles called them in the court and he had all the senior Roman dignities around him. He called for his translator, who translating Heracles' question said to them, Who amongst you is closely related to that man who who claims to be a prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam abu sufyan replied i am the nearest relative to him amongst the group heracles said bring him abu sufyan close to me and make his companion stand behind him abu sufyan added heracles told his translator to tell my companions that he wanted to put some question to me regarding that man the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and that if i told a lie then my companions should contradict me abu sufyan added by allah had i not been afraid of my companions labeling me a liar i would not have spoken the truth about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the first question he asked me about him was what is his family status amongst you i replied He belongs to a good noble family amongst us. Heracles further asked, Has anybody amongst you ever claimed the same to be a prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam before him? I replied, No. He said, Was anybody amongst his ancestors a king? I replied, No. Heracles asked, Do the nobles or the poor follow him? I replied, No. It is the poor who follow him. He said, Are his followers increasing, decreasing day by day? I replied, They are increasing, he then asked. Does anybody amongst those who embrace his religion become displaced and renounce the religion afterwards? I replied, No. Heracles said, Have you ever accused him of telling lies before his claim to be a prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? I replied, No. Heracles said, Does he break his promise? I replied, No. We are at truce with him, but we do not know what he will do in it. I could not find opportunity to say anything against him except that. Heracles asked, Have you ever had a war with him? I replied, Yes. Then he said, What was the outcome of the battles? I replied, Yes. Sometimes he was victorious and sometimes we, Heracles said, what does he order you to do? I said, he tells us to worship Allah and Allah alone and not to worship anything along with him and to renounce all that our ancestors had said. He orders us to pray. to speak the truth, to be chaste, and to keep good relations with our kith and kin. Heracles asked the translator to convey to me the following. I asked you about his family, and your reply was they belonged to a very noble family. In fact, all the apostles come from noble families amongst their respective peoples. I question you. Whether anybody else amongst you claims such a thing, your reply was in the negative. And if the answer had been in the affirmative, I would have thought that this man was following the previous man's statement. Then I asked you whether any one of his ancestors was a king. Your reply was in the negative. And if it had been in the affirmative, I would have thought that this man wanted to take back his ancestral kingdom. I further asked whether he was ever accused of telling lies before he said what he said and your reply was in the negative. So I wondered how a person who does not tell a lie about others could ever tell a lie about Allah. I then asked you 
whether the rich people followed him or the poor. He replied that it was the poor who followed him. And in fact, all the apostles have been followed by this very class of people. Then I asked you whether his followers were increasing or decreasing. You reply that they were increasing. And in fact, this is the way of true faith. Till it is complete all in all respects, I further asked you whether there was anybody who, after embracing his religion, became displeased and degraded his religion. Your reply was in the negative and in fact this is the sign of true faith. When its delight enters the hearts and mixes with them completely, I asked you whether he had ever betrayed you. You replied in the negative and likewise the apostle never betray. Then I asked you what he ordered you to do. You replied that he ordered you to worship Allah and Allah alone and not to worship anything along with him and forbade you to worship idols and ordered you to pray to speak the truth and to be chaste. If what you have said is true, he will very soon occupy this place underneath my feet and I knew from the scriptures that he was going to appear but I did not know what that he would be from you and if i could reach him definitely i would go immediately to meet him and if i were with him i would certainly wash his feet heracles then asked for the letters addressed by allah's apostle which was delivered by dhiya to the governor of bushra who forwarded it to heracles to read the contents of the letter were as follows in the name of Allah the beneficent the merciful this letter is from Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the slave of Allah and is apostle to Heracles the, ru the ruler of Byzantine peace be upon him who follows the right path furthermore i invite you to Islam and if you become a muslim you will be a safe and Allah will double your reward and if you reject this invitation of Islam, you will be committing a sin by misguiding your Arisian patients. And I recite you to do Allah's statement. O Allah, O people of this scripture, come to a word common to you and us that we worship none but Allah and that we associate nothing in worship with him and that none of us shall take others as lords beside Allah. Then, if they turn away, say bear witness that we are Muslims, those who have surrendered to Allah. 3.64 Abu Sufyan then added, When Heracles had finished his speech and had read the letter, there was a great hue and cry in the royal court. So, we were turned out of the court. I told my companions that the question of Ibn Abi Kapsha, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, has become so prominent that even the king of Bani al Asfar, Byzantine, is afraid of him. Then I started to become sure that he, Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, would be the conqueror in the near future till I embraced Islam. Allah guided me to it. The sub-narrator adds, Ibn An-Natur was the governor of Elia Jerusalem, and Heracles was the head of the Christian of Sham. Ibn An-Natur narrates that once while Heracles was visiting Elia Jerusalem, he got up in the morning with a sad mood. Some of his priests asked him why he was in that mood. Heracles was a foreteller and an astrologer. He replied, At night, when I looked at the stars, I saw that the leader of those who practiced circumcision had appeared, become the conqueror. Who are they who practice circumcision? The people replied, Except the Jews, nobody practices circumcision. So, you should not to be afraid of them Jews. Just issue orders to kill every Jew present in the country. While they were discussing it, a messenger sent by the king of Kashan 
to convey the news of Allah's apostle to Heracles was brought in. Having heard the news, he Heracles ordered the people to go and see whether the messenger of Ghassan was circumcised. The people, after seeing him, told Heracles that he was circumcised. Heracles then asked him about the Arabs. The messenger replied, Arabs also practice circumcision. After hearing that, Heracles remarked that sovereignty of the Arabs and had appeared Heracles then wrote a letter to his friend in Rome who was as good as Heracles in knowledge. Heracles then left for Homs, a town in Syria, and stayed there till he received the reply of his letter from his friend who agreed with him in his opinion about the emigrant emergence of the Prophet and the fact that he was a prophet. On that, Heracles invited all the heads of the Byzantines to assemble in his palace at Homs. When they assembled, he ordered that all the door of his place to be closed. Then he came out and said, O Byzantines, if success is your desire, and if you seek right guidance and want your empire to remain, then give a pledge of allegiance to this Prophet ﷺ. Embrace Islam. On hearing the news of Heracles, the people ran towards the gates of the palace like onagers, but found the door closed. Heracles realized their hatred toward Islam and when he lost the hope of their embracing Islam, he ordered that they should be brought back in audience. When they returned, he said, what already said was just to test the strength of your conviction and I have seen it. The people prostrated before him and became pleased with him and this was the end of Heracles' story in connection with his faith. Say Bukhari Hadith number 7.